All right, today we're going to begin the book, How to Be Cool in the Third Grade. And we're going to be spending a lot of time while we read this book talking about the characters. We'll get to know the characters in our book, like you get to know your friends and your family. So as we read this book, we'll push ourselves to get to know the main character of the story. What he likes, what he wants, who his friends are, if he has any enemies, and why. What he does, is he into sports? So we'll do some thinking. You'll do some talking with your learning coach. You'll do some writing in your reading journal. And since this book takes place in third grade, and we're in third grade, let's also read and think about what we're learning about being third graders. All right, so chapter one is titled, Becoming Cool. What is cool in third grade? Robbie York punched his pillow and turned it over. He leaned back and closed his eyes, but he could not get to sleep. The question floated around in his head. It was a question that he had to answer before morning. He flipped his pillow over and punched it again. Tomorrow was the first day of school. Tomorrow he would start third grade. Ooh, so I'm gonna stop right here for a second. I get it. He seems a little nervous. We've learned a lot about Robbie in just these few sentences. So this is taking place the night before the first day of third grade. And he's really nervous. He's trying to figure out how to be cool when he goes to school. So I'm noticing also that when we read those shoes, it was told from the voice of the main character, Jeremy. But this story isn't. Robbie isn't the one telling the story. This one is being told by a narrator. So let's continue. Something about the first day of a new school year makes everything seem bright and wonderful. New clothes, new shoes, long sharp pencils with unchewed erasers, sheets of fresh blank notebook paper. Robbie thought of a new year as a chalkboard wiped clean and black, waiting for him to write on it. This year, anything was possible. Anything was possible, that is, if he knew the answer to the question, what is cool in third grade? If only he knew the answer, then this year, everything would be perfect. He sat up. It was useless even trying to get to sleep. He flipped on the light beside his bed. At the foot of his bed, he could see these things laid out for school. His clothes, his shoes, his new backpack. He frowned. The backpack was dark blue and said Robbie on the back in big white letters. His mother had ordered it from a catalog. Robbie had been afraid that she would get him one with Smurfs or Muppet Babies on it. It was a nice, plain blue one. But, he reached down and picked it up. He looked at the letters on it. Robbie. He sighed. That was one thing he knew was not cool. A third grader should not have a baby name. He did not know a single grown-up named Robbie. Robert Hayes York. His real name was great. Couldn't he have just as easily been called Robert or Rob? He held his fingers over the last three letters. Rob. That looked so much better. He buried his nose into the stiff canvas and smelled the newness of the material. He unzipped it and pulled out a new spiral notebook. He opened it. The pages were clean and white. What is cool in third grade? He needed a plan, a plan to become cool. Robbie, Robbie, 
his mother called from downstairs. Robbie. That was it. He knew what the first step to becoming cool would be. So I'm going to pause for a second again. So we know he's making a plan to be cool. It says that he doesn't like Robbie. Maybe he'll get rid of the backpack. Let's keep reading to find out. Get rid of the name Robbie. Lights out now, school tomorrow. Okay, mom, he called out. He took out his pencil. He didn't have much time. He didn't know the entire answer to his question, but he knew part of it. He had to have a plan. He would make a list. Quickly, he wrote how to be cool in the third grade. Then, without stopping, he wrote, number one, get rid of the name Robbie. He smiled. Seeing his first step to becoming cool gave him the feeling of power. He felt that by writing it down, he had accomplished it. Robbie closed his notebook and put it into his backpack. He turned off his lamp and lay back in bed. He didn't feel so restless now. He was one step closer to being cool. It was going to be a great year. So that's the end of the first chapter. Let's just pause here for a minute and think about all we know about Robbie so far. We know that he's really nervous about going to third grade. We know that he's trying desperately to be cool. Desperately means he wants it more than anything right now. And he's decided that the first step to being cool is to ditch the name Robbie. So that's all I know about him so far. I'm wondering, do you know anything else about Robbie from what we just read? In your reading journal, I want you to start a list of ideas that we already know about Robbie.